C-Lab is an AI image uh, platform that's out of France. And as you can see, they're coming out of the gate pretty strongly. This company came out earlier in 2024, in the first half of 2024. And this is what they can produce so far. And of course, if you're going to do something, you can actually play around with your brand colors. You can actually select up the three colors and then play around with the image. But what I wanted to show you was in the editor. So the way you get to the different aspects or the different features of C-Lab is to go up here. Once you log in, is to go up here and I'm going to go into editor. Again, that's very simple. When you think about it, you just basically go up some place and click. You don't have to go running around every section. So I know what that's like. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upload because I have the ability to upload an image that I created in Leonardo for a special project. If you so here we are in C Labs editor. This is an image that was created in Leonardo. I was playing around with it and comparing it to Flux Pro, which is also a fantastic application and platform. And I wanted to actually show you guys something that was very valuable in C Lab. Now, just to give you an idea, we can also magnify. What they mean by magnify here is upscaling. So when we go to upscale this image, for example, um, we can do 2x or 4x. So in this case, I'm just going to do uh, 2x with a standard preset. And I'm going to make sure that we're going to go ahead and just keep it as it is. It doesn't need to be anything more than the standard. So then we're ready. We can go ahead and magnify. Great. So this actually, this process took about another, let's say, maybe a couple of minutes to do. So it does take a while. And what it does is that it actually blows it up a little bit. So what you can do is that you can bring it up. You can bring it down a little bit by pressing this right here. But this is the part that I wanted to show. You can take a look. This is the before and this is after. You can take a look and see just how much the image has changed. So this is where bringing it up a little bit would actually be beneficial. And you can see that in this, in the before part, it's a little bit grainier. Put out, but once we do the afterwards, it actually smooths it out. So this is a way for you to really take a look and see if this is if the after is what you want to keep in the image, and it's just a really cute feature that I'd, I've never seen before, except in third-party upscale tools. Okay, now that we've decided on an image, we can go ahead and play around with it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually go to the replace option. And here we have the brush. The brush in this case turns out to be orange. No big deal. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do a quick inverse mask with this one. So we've got it pretty much covered. So say I wanted to make an, a change to the background of the image. So what would I do in Leonardo? I would have to basically just cover this entire field right here and then mask the outside. This one, no such problem. We go over here to mask and we click on invert. So what we're seeing here is that her image is that we covered is kind of encased while the background is changed. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually um, do the background. We're going to change the prompt here. Background is the Egyptian pyramids. Queen Hatshepsut. I remember some of my AP art history back in high school on a clear, bright, sunny day. People are around and so are camels. So once we got that prompt in there, let's go ahead and generate. Thanks for your time. If you find what I'm putting out here valuable, useful, of course, like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you're so inclined, buy me a coffee. Buying me a coffee not only keeps most of my content free, but it also keeps me from relying on sponsors. I'll leave a link in the description, but anytime you want to do that, feel free. Thanks. Now the generations come over on this side. So let's go ahead and take a look at these ideas. Great. I mean, she looks like she's been there, like she's actually in the image or she's in Egypt. It looks very natural. And we have here a little bit different. And then we have something a little bit here. This one, the background looks a little bit too fuzzy for my liking. And of course, I'm not a, a photographer, but I kind of like this one. Actually, this one the best. 
to me, it just feels a little bit better. So you see, you can actually take anything. You can upload a picture of your product or anything that you have for your brand and you can just play around. So since I like this one, I'm actually gonna choose select. So this is going to be my image. Now, if I wanted to do something else with this image, I wanted to change the background, say, you know, Halloween's coming up, pumpkin spice, everything. So let's go ahead and redo this mask. And say we're going to, of course, again, do invert. And we're going to go background is a forest with falling leaves, falling, yeah, autumn leaves, a with a bunch of carved pumpkins, haunted mansion lurking. Again, we wanted to play around in the background for seasonality. So let's go ahead and see if we can generate that. Great. So let's take a look at these generations. This is pretty good. That actually looks like a nice picture. And this one just looks fun. So, I mean, say I wanted to do something fun for a campaign, a Halloween campaign. Um, this one is kind of muted. Maybe it fits your brand or maybe you want to do something completely outrageous and eye-catching. Here we go. Flying pumpkins everywhere. So this is a very cool feature that I think is very simple to use. And it's one that I've not seen in Leonardo. Maybe they're coming up with something like that. I'm not sure. But businesses can definitely just instantly go ahead and play around with the background of their main image and come up with something absolutely amazing. Now, once you find found the one that you want, go ahead and select it. And you can even add it to a collection. Say you have a collection for a fall campaign, you can go ahead and add it to the collection from here. So again, this is something really cool.